Well, I was just digressing for a second. I was very circumspect about the announcements made by Boris Johnson uh, yesterday, because he talked about getting Brexit done, but he didn't actually put any meat on the bones of how he was going to achieve that, other than signing the withdrawal agreement, which, as you might know, Kay, I think is a rather lousy agreement. And, um, but I'm very heartened this morning to have eventually got a copy of the Tory party manifesto and read in it that the promises he made to Nigel and which formed the basis of why we stood 317 candidates down, those promises have found their way into the Tory manifesto. Uh, so he has now said in writing that we will leave the transition period by the end of 2020 and that there won't be political alignment with the European Union. And for us, those are kind of critical red lines for the Brexit party. So I think if we stood down 317 candidates, which we did on the basis of that promise, and if he adheres to the declaration now made in writing in the manifesto, then actually the Brexit party's done a phenomenally good job for the country. But you're done now and you should just uh, no, step down. No, I don't step. think so. I mean, so. the polls are saying that you're, you're as low as 3%. Um, uh, you were, I think, something like 6% yeah. three or four weeks ago. Our, our job certainly isn't done. We've got to hold Boris to account. Two of the questions yesterday, as you might recall, at the, uh, at the announcement in Telford, were from journalists asking about his integrity and his, um, uh, you know, people's trust in him. So we've got to be there to hold Boris to account.